Katie's back with this forecast and uh, great weather Absolutely. to experience. You say that heat wave is coming, kind of. Yeah, we're going to be warming things up. And one thing about September 11th, everyone always remembers those blue crystal skies. We had very similar conditions today. Blue, blue skies to the point where I was able to see. I showed this before. So this was while I was walking Lucy earlier today. And majority of the trees, right, they're still pretty green. <laughs> Damon's looking. He needs to get them back. I see, I see yeah. some red and oranges. Yes, absolutely. And in person, they were a lot more vibrant. But what about the drought that we're falling into? How does it impact fall color? I'm going to be honest with you, it's not a good thing. Getting into drought is never a good thing. But when we're talking about fall foliage, a lot of times when you have drier conditions, it can delay when you see that peak of fall foliage, which typically for Northeast Ohio, it does vary year to year. But usually it's in October, about mid, maybe late October. So maybe this year, because of the drier conditions, getting a little bit of a delay. And the drought monitor updated today and not a shock at all. Almost all of Ohio now, at least in abnormally dry conditions. But we're also seeing severe drought drought showing up for Carroll County. Elsewhere, we're still in D0, meaning abnormally dry, moving, meaning that you're moving into drought conditions. But the problem is, once you slip into drought, it can actually get harder to get rain going. And that's what we're seeing in long range data for not just the next few days into next week, potentially the following week. So we have these teeny tiny chances and they continue to look more and more unlikely with each passing day. So we have a cold front sitting right on top of us doing nothing. And, and even the cloud cover is basically nothing. And when we show you future cast here, you see that we'll have clear skies for tonight. As we move into tomorrow, couple of clouds. Temperatures are going to be upper 70s, low 80s for the next several days, truthfully. Then we get into Saturday. That's our chance for showers. When we pause it here at 830 in the morning, Definitely a little bit more clouds on the future radar and satellite, but also you see these couple little green spots. That's your shower chance. A couple more later in the afternoon trying to move into our northern communities. It's just not looking very likely. You have a much better chance to stay dry. And as Damon noted, we're actually going to be getting above average with the temperatures, which when you have warmer temps in the midst of fall, talking about fall foliage, so both moisture content and temperatures playing a role, the warmer it is actually then gives you a muted color. It looks a little dry. And this takes us out to the end of September. All all of that orange showing us above average conditions. So maybe we had a little bit of a chilly few weeks, not the scenario as we head into next week. Temperatures back to the 80s, staying pretty dry. We'll be back after this.